Hi, and good evening. My name is Reverend Dennis Gustaferi, and this is my sidekick over here, Reverend Joseph and Tacky, just known as Reverend Den and uh, Rev Joe, Reverend Joe. I would like to welcome you all tonight for our first show tonight. You're all looking good out there in the audience. This is great. Thank you for coming. Uh, How about the name of the show? Are you going to tell them what the name of the show is? Oh, that's, that's my sidekick. The name of our show is, if you can see right behind this, is the Insight Show. Right now it's out of sight, so I'm turn so you can see it. Yeah, how's that? There we Isn't go. that pretty? Anyway, we're very uh, thankful to be here, and I would just like to say that you did hear right. We did say Reverend. So we're just a uh, very short, brief little thing of saying thank God that we are all here today under this air-conditioned weather. Uh, outside is pretty bad. It's gotten uh, to rain out a little bit there. But dear Lord, we thank you for this day and for allowing us to do this show and bringing us all together. And in his name, thank you very much, Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. So with that, we have uh, some interesting things coming up in the future. Uh, I'm trying to think of what we got tonight. <laughs> we have well, a very great group, one of my favorite groups of all time because I happen to get to sing with it also as well, which is John Roper and the Bob Knight Four. And we have a very good comedian tonight also, he fits. You may have seen him on uh, Patch Oak Theater uh, in the Hamptons. He's uh, out there, he plays guitar, the whole thing, wait till you see this. So with that, with no further ado, yeah. uh, we are singers and entertainers, so why don't we do what we do best? Yeah, you sing. I'll sing. <laughs> <laughs> well, you can sing too, you know. Okay. 
And we're going to be doing that weekly. We're going to have a bit of a variety show here. We'll be showcasing different groups, different comedians, and other uh, people from Long Island, people that you may know, some of your neighbors, some of their businesses. So uh, if you have any interest, you know, give us a call, and, uh, and we'll see what we can do to work into the show as well. Yeah, we'd like to do some call-ins as well. You can always call into the show. We are going out live to you on June 6th, 2013. It is a great pleasure to be here. Yes, it is. So with that. All right, you sing. I'm going to go that way. Let's see if we can get our orchestra going. You put your hand in mine Then you say hello I can hardly speak My heart is beating so And anyone can tell You think you know me well Well, you don't know me of you at night longs to kiss your lips and longs to hold you tight I'm just a friend that's all I've ever been cause you don't know me for I never knew Though my heart aches with love for you Afraid and shy I let my chance go by Chance that you might love me too You put your hand in mine Then you say goodbye I watch you walk away Beside the lucky guy Oh, oh you never ever know The one who loves you so Cause you don't know me TV because you don't know me, but you're going to know me now. Another little friend, another song I really like, uh, James Taylor did it. Now it's my turn. Ah, oh, yes, Through the Wonders. 
do me wrong, do me right now, baby. Come on, tell me lies, but hold me tight. Save your goodbyes for the morning light. But don't let me be lonely tonight. Say goodbye. Say hello. Sure enough, good to see you. But it's time to go. Don't say yes, but please don't say no. I don't want to be lonely tonight. Go ahead and damn you. Go on and do as you please. You ain't gonna see me getting down on my I'm undecided, and your heart's been divided, yeah. You've been turning my world upside down now. Do me wrong, do me right now, baby. Come on, tell me lies, but hold me tight. Save your goodbyes for the morning light, morning light. But don't let me be lonely tonight. I don't want to be lonely tonight. Oh no, let me be alone tonight. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, you've been watching Madhouse TV. Thank you so much. And just with that, we'll be right back after these words. Tom Mealy from the Harrison Law Group. You know, soft tissue injury, that's no joke. This is what we do. We're not new at this game. Don't waste valuable time going to firms who don't get it and can't do it. Call 1-800-INJURY-LAW. Brooklyn's best locksmith and hardware. We have three of the largest showrooms of safes on display and in stock. You can see and touch them in person instead of browsing a catalog. We carry gun and rifle safes, burglary safes, jewelry safes, fire rated from a half hour to two hour. Famous name brands. We sell guard all. We sell AMSAC. The new AMSAC touchscreen. If you're ever in need of a safe, think Brooklyn's best locksmith and hardware. Right, Lockie? That's right, Alan. Huntington Toyota, the experience of a lifetime. Don't take our word for it. The experience for me at Huntington Toyota made me feel very comfortable. It's their professionalism, their honesty, and their integrity. I've bought at least nine or ten cars here at Huntington Toyota. They give me the best price around. It never was about high pressure. It never was about them. It was always about us. Today's cars are very similar, but Huntington Toyota is very different. Huntington Toyota, where it's all about you. Freshness, softness, and static control has never been easier with the Bounce Dryer Bar. I just stick it to the inside of my dryer, and I never have to remember. Oh, 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 oh. 
Old Spice body spray makes you smell like power. It's so powerful it sells itself in other people's commercials. You smell like outdoor freshness. You smell like power. Yeah, I do. Try this routine to feel fresh and clean. Pair Charmin Fresh Mates with your Charmin. Oh, Spice Body Spray is too powerful to stay in its own commercial. That's right. B -b 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 power. Now, how is this? Ah! Wow, you know what? I actually do feel more power. Potato chips! <laughs> ba -ba 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 power! It's me. This is Beth. Hi. Hi. Oh, congratulations. When are you due? I'm not pregnant. Oh, look at that. Excuse me. You're totally thin. You look very sexy. For life's bleachable moments, all it takes is three quarters of a cup. How are you doing? We're right back at you. Ladies and gentlemen, I've, I've seen this guy on, um, in the Hamptons. I've seen him on uh, the uh, Pat York Theater. He's a very good comedian. I hope you enjoy the comic stylings of. I love saying the comic stylings of. Key Fitz. I like that. Thank you. Thank you, Dennis. Uh, another big round of applause for him and uh, <laughs> all the singing he did before, right? That was great. And now I gotta follow that. He says I'm funny. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> so uh, <laughs> the few of you guys out there watching me are, are starting to wonder what the hell is Molto Mario doing on stage? <laughs> this ain't the Cooking Network. Um, yeah, some of you guys don't watch the Cooking Network. I also do stunt work for Yosemite Sam. Anyway, <laughs> so uh, let me. Let me uh, I, I gotta say, I, I, I love this. I love this. It's a banner. It's insight, the Inside Show. It's a banner on brick against real brick. That's just, you know, that just matches so nicely. I, I don't know what else to say about it. I don't care. It's not funny. <laughs> but anyway, uh, let me ask you guys something in the audience here. You guys happy it's 2013? Yeah? Yeah, I'm not. Because this year I turned 44 years old. Every year around my birthday, my parents have to break my, my uh, cojones. Key, when are you going to cut your hair? I keep telling them never, because when I get old enough, this becomes the ultimate comb over. Somebody told me I look like Foghorn Leghorn like this. Yeah. <laughs> I, uh, <laughs> I have things starting to go wrong with my body now that I'm in my 40s, not like when I was in my 20s. Things like I have joints that are starting to predict the weather, which is kind of weird for weed, don't you think? Yeah. I... Uh, I have diabetes now. My doctor says I have to absolutely stay away from candy, which is weird because they've been telling the same thing at the strip club for years. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> also, uh, I have uh, I get trolley horses at some of the, the most inopportune times, right? My wife comes out in a sexy negligee, and I'm getting a stiffy in my calf. <laughs> I'm rubbing out my calf. She looks at me. She says, Key, get over yourself. You're Irish. You're not that big. So anyway... <laughs> Uh, so I'm starting to say things I never thought I would in my life. Things like I remember when. Things like I remember when sticking it to the man was not the slogan promoting gay marriage. Uh, yeah. I remember when a GPS was the woman sitting next to you in the car. Stop and ask for directions. Yeah. Ask him. Ask him. Ask him. Recalculating. 
Yeah. I remember when <laughs> I remember when standing in the bushes outside somebody's bedroom window was called hopelessly romantic. Yeah. I remember when plan B contraception was see ya. Yeah. I remember when sexting was passing that note underneath the desk. Do you like me? Circle yes or no. Uh, I also remember when, I remember when Nigeria was so poor they couldn't afford to send out that email. You know, the one that let me know that I won the lottery. Yeah. I remember when the original iPad was Etch-A-Sketch. Yeah. And delete was... I felt bad for anyone with Parkinson's. Um, <laughs> yeah. Uh, I also remember when high definition meant tearing pages out of the dictionary for rolling papers. <laughs> yeah. Some people here in the audience at least have been on the road with me. All right. <laughs> yeah. I remember when, I remember when uh, kids with ADD were simply cured by saying, shut up! <laughs> I remember when going to the bathroom was not a Facebook status. <laughs> I remember when I used to be able to move into a new neighborhood and not have to sign on to one of those online predator lists. Yeah. I went to one of the game. What did I know? I thought it was the nudist colony. So, uh, anyway, <laughs> I, uh, I mentioned my wife. I'm married. Thank you for not clapping. Um, my wife, she's a great woman. When she sleeps at night, she curls herself up in the covers, kind of like some sort of cocoon. So in the morning, I'm expecting this beautiful butterfly, right? No, no, I, instead I get Mothra. Go, go, go! <laughs> I'm expecting good morning, dear, instead I got stop touching me. Uh, yeah. <laughs> she wants to spice up our sex life in the bedroom. Uh, she's tired of the current routine. I climb on top of her while she's still snoring. So, um, she wants to start bringing food into the bedroom. Now, me being a man of girth, I think this is the ultimate threesome. <laughs> So next time we got hot and heavy, I brought in a meatloaf. <laughs> she looked me dead in the eye. She says, Key, what do you think you're doing? Stop having sex with that meatloaf. You're making it more into a sloppy joe. <laughs> All right, some of these jokes are just for me. All right. <laughs> anyway, so, um, uh, well, uh, big announcement. Uh, my wife, she just had a baby. Thank you, thank you. That is... That is until hospital security had caught up with her. Um, <laughs> now, you see, we've tried. We've, we have been trying. The only problem is I have a medical condition. It's called uh, vasectomy. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> uh, no, uh, the thing is, we, so we decided we were going to adopt. She figured because we're adopting, she could breastfeed. <laughs> Which was weird because we adopted a goldfish. She thought it was hungry because there's a... Yeah. <laughs> uh, anyway, uh, so uh, what else can I tell you guys? I, uh, I grew up in Brentwood, Long Island, uh, which I really refer to more as the meth lab. Uh, <laughs> oh, I must have sold you some drugs at one point. I got it. <laughs> yeah, we, uh, I grew up an only child in Brentwood, which meant my parents had to play with me. My parents used to suggest all kinds of activities. My mother suggested arts and crafts. She gave me scissors and said, run! <laughs> My father, we played sports. We played dodge car. <laughs> yeah, you laugh, he drove. <laughs> yeah. And uh, for, for Christmas, all my friends got those things, the, uh, the toys, the, uh, the jack in the box. I got a fork in the toaster. <laughs> so I had to come up with my own imaginary friend. My imaginary friend got me into all kinds of trouble, like the time we got caught playing doctor with grandma's respirator. Pull the plug, put it back in, pull the plug, put it back in, pull the plug. <laughs> put it back in. Plugged it into her clapper. Grandma, grandma, grandma. Her eyes open and shut like the lights. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I still have my imaginary friend today. Now she's my lover. Um, so... <laughs> But anyway, um, now my parents are getting older, so I'm getting back at them for all the things they did to me when I was younger. Yeah, I'm, <laughs> I'm messing up the microphone. I, uh, <laughs> I'm getting back at them for all the things they did when I was younger. I'm convincing them they have Alzheimer's. I'm showing them slides of pictures of people they do not know. Hey, Ma, you remember the family reunion? It's a graveyard. Hey, look, there's Uncle Charlie. When did Uncle Charlie turn black? 
All right. Well, uh, I am also a musician. I sing in a band. When I tell people this, when I tell people this they, always, they always ask me the same question. When did the Partridge family reunite? <laughs> I look like Danny Partridge after he ate the other children. It was a death metal band for diabetics. We were called Death by Chocolate. <laughs> and I brought a couple songs I'd like to play for you guys. You guys want to hear them? Sure. Sure, yeah. All right. Uh, the first song I'd like to play for you guys, a little song I like to call, uh, uh, it's actually a little song called Hum. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that was good. All right. Uh, technical difficulties, yes. Uh, I have a, it's a love song that I wrote for my wife. It's a little song called Hold On, goes something like this. Hold on. Thank you. <laughs> All right, uh, this is a love song I wrote for my wife. Uh, it goes something like this. Okay, we'll try that again. Much, Key. Thank you very much. Great job. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, we'll be right back after these words. President describes her horrifying experience when she first realized the complex was on fire. I got bronchitis. Ain't nobody got time for that. Ain't nobody got time for that. Ain't nobody got time for that. Ain't nobody got time. Ain't nobody got time. Ain't nobody got time for that. Ain't nobody got time for that. Ain't nobody got time for that. Ain't nobody got time. Ain't nobody got time. Ain't nobody got time for that. Ain't nobody got time for that. Somebody was barbecuing. Barbecue. 
Click away from a better way to rent movies. Blockbuster Total Access. Movies through the mail plus movies through the store. One low price. Here's the problem. We oh. forgot to plug it in. Oh, don't even think about it. Get a free trial at your Blockbuster store or Blockbuster.com. Welcome back to Insight. I'm Reverend Joe. I hope you all enjoyed Key with his performance a few minutes ago with his, his comedic styles. I thought they were hysterical myself. A lot of his comedy comes from Long Island, and you know, those of us that have grown up here and lived here or lived any part of our lives here get a kick out of some of the things that happened to us because all you can really do about them is laugh because otherwise you just get yourself aggravated sometimes. But nonetheless, we're going to continue with the show, and uh, I'm going to do a couple of songs for you now. So if we can get the band fired up. Cue the conductor. So I sang it asleep after the loving with a song I just wrote yesterday and I hope you can hear what the words and the music have to say it's so hard to explain everything that I'm feeling face to face I just seem to go dry but I love you so much that the sound of your voice can get me high. Thanks for taking me. Thanks for taking me on a one-way trip to the sun. And thanks for turning me. It makes me want to cry And I know my song isn't saying anything new Oh, 
the lyrics too which was nice <laughs> it doesn't, doesn't always happen that way so but as we said here on Insight we'd be doing a bit of a variety so some of the variety is the lyrics where we have to make a variety of the words that we know with the words that we forgot so <laughs> yep we can start the orchestra I know they're out there so me, my sweet embraceable you, embrace me, you irreplaceable you, just one look at you. in me. i 
so much fun. Right, what do you Joey? think? Maybe we should make that some was, money and do a commercial. That was really pretty. You know what? I never heard you saw, s sing that one before. Yeah, the only one's ever heard me was a shower curtain. Well, you did really good on that. And my girlfriend, Mary Ann, sitting here in the yes. audience with her, my love. And there's, and she makes there's it my easy love for me right there, Ellen. That, so. And Ellen right next to her. They go wherever we go, right? That's right. Yeah. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to be back in a few minutes right after these words. And this is Madhouse TV. Thank you. We'll be right back. When your cable's on the fritz, you get frustrated. When you get frustrated, your daughter imitates. When your daughter imitates, she gets thrown out of school. When she gets thrown out of school, she meets undesirables. When she meets undesirables, she ties the knot with undesirables. And when she ties the knot with undesirables, you get a grandson with a dog collar. Don't have a grandson with a dog collar. Get rid of cable and upgrade to DirecTV. Call 1-800-DIRECTV. When your cable company keeps you on hold, you get angry. When you get angry, you go blow off steam. When you go blow off steam, accidents happen. When accidents happen, you get an eye patch. When you get an eye patch, people think you're tough. When people think you're tough, people want to see how tough. And when people want to see how tough, you wake up in a roadside ditch. Don't wake up in a roadside ditch. Get rid of cable and upgrade to DirecTV. Call 1-800-DIRECTV. When you pay too much for cable, you throw things. When you throw things, people think you have anger issues. When people think you have anger issues, your schedule clears up. When your schedule clears up, you grow a scraggly beard. When you grow a scraggly beard, you start taking in stray animals. And when you start taking in stray animals, you can't stop taking in stray animals. Stop taking in stray animals. Get rid of cable and upgrade to DirecTV. Call 1-800-DIRECTV. Hey, I'm Tom Mealy from the Harrison Law Group. You know, soft tissue injury, that's no joke. This is what we do. We're not new at this game. Don't waste valuable time going to firms who don't get it and can't do it. Call 1-800-INJURY-LAW. Uh, hmm. uh, Ray, I don't know. Are you sure clicking this thing will get us online? Well, try dragging it. Hmm. Faster. You're just a mouse click away from a better way to rent movies. Blockbuster Total Access. Movies through the mail plus movies through the store. One low price. Here's the problem. We <laughs> forgot to plug it in. Oh, don't even think about it. Get a free trial at your Blockbuster store or Blockbuster.com. Brooklyn's best locksmith and hardware. We have three of the largest showrooms of safes on display and in stock. You can see and touch them in person instead of browsing a catalog. We carry gun and rifle safes, burglary safes, jewelry safes, fire rated from a half hour to two hour. Famous name brands. We sell guard all. We sell AMSAC. The new AMSAC touchscreen. If you're ever in need of a safe, think Brooklyn's best locksmith and hardware. Right, Lockie? That's right, Alan. All right, we're back. You've been listening to uh, Reverend Joe. I'm Reverend De Dennis. You know we're going out live out here tonight. We're going to have a group coming up in a few minutes, one of my favorites because I get to sing with them, which is John Roper and the Bob Knight Four. But first, I'm going to do one more song. Uh, 
if I can cue up my band. Because music is memories. And when I was a kid, I used to watch this show on TV every year with the family. When I grew up and had kids of my own, I used to watch this show on TV every year with the family. so much. All right, ladies and gentlemen, be back in a few minutes right after these commercial words. We're out live. Here we go. Tom Mealy from the Harrison Law Group. You know, soft tissue injury, that's no joke. This is what we do. We're not new at this game. Don't waste valuable time going to firms who don't get it and can't do it. Call 1-800-INJURY-LAW. Huntington Toyota, the experience of a lifetime. Don't take our word for it. The experience for me at Huntington Toyota made me feel very comfortable. It's their professionalism, their honesty, and their integrity. I've bought at least nine or ten cars here at Huntington Toyota. They give me the best price around. It never was about high pressure. It never was about them. It was always about us. Today's cars are very similar, but Huntington Toyota is very different. Huntington Toyota, where it's all about you. Brooklyn's best locksmith and hardware. We have three of the largest showrooms of safes on display and in stock. You can see and touch them in person instead of browsing a catalog. We carry gun and rifle safes, burglary safes, jewelry safes, fire rated from a half hour to two hour. Famous name brands. We sell guard all. We sell AMSAC. The new AMSAC touchscreen. If you're ever in need of a safe, think Brooklyn's best locksmith and hardware. Right, Lockie? That's right, Alan. Hey, I'm Tom Mealy from the Harrison Law Group. You know, soft tissue injury, 
That's no joke. This is what we do. We're not new at this game. Don't waste valuable time going to firms who don't get it and can't do it. Call 1-800-INJURY-LAW. This is Beth. Hi. Oh, congratulations. When are you due? I'm not pregnant. Oh, look at that. Excuse me. You're totally thin. You look very sexy. For life's bleachable moments, all it takes is three quarters of a cup. When your cable's on the fritz, you get frustrated. When you get frustrated, your daughter imitates. When your daughter imitates, she gets thrown out of school. When she gets thrown out of school, she meets undesirables. When she meets undesirables, she ties the knot with undesirables. And when she ties the knot with undesirables, you get a grandson with a dog collar. Don't have a grandson with a dog collar. Get rid of cable and upgrade to DirecTV. Call 1-800-DIRECTV. When your cable company keeps you on hold, you get angry. When you get angry, you go blow off steam. When you go blow off steam, accidents happen. When accidents happen, you get an eye patch. When you get an eye patch, people think you're tough. When people think you're tough, people want to see how tough. And when people want to see how tough, you wake up in a roadside ditch. Don't wake up in a roadside ditch. Get rid of cable and upgrade to DirecTV. Call 1-800-DIRECTV. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a group with us right now that's going to be on every show, at least a couple of songs on every show, and there's going to be a whole show dedicated to John Roper and the Bob Knight Four. Music Maestro. <laughs> For mankind, understanding in peace of mind, and if it's not asking too much, please send me someone to love. I need someone to love. Asking too much. Please, please send me someone to love. Send me someone I need someone to love. love. I awake each night, find the world so troubled. And my answer seems it's always the same. That unless man puts an end to all of the sin. Someone to love. I need someone to love. Got a hold of it, Charlie. Sin. 
made up with the world in a flame. Why the shame, why the shame, Just why because the shame. I. Thank you, thank you, thank you very much. Let's do another one, John. All right. All right. Let's sand on the floor, we do a little sore shoe. I know she says she loves me, Joe, but sometimes I have to wonder. <laughs> Her eyes don't shine like they used to shine. And it thrills. When her lips meet mine, I'm afraid. I'm afraid. Masquerade I'm afraid is over. Is over. So is love. And now I know. So is love. So is love. They were once so very sincere, but now they're just routine. I'm afraid. I'm afraid. Masquerade. I'm afraid. It's over. Masquerade. It's over. So is love. My oh my. So is love. So is love. Well, I guess I'll have to play. I achieve. And I'll get myself a clown's disguise. A brand new clown's disguise. And I'll learn to laugh just like I achieve. With so tears, tears, too many tears. tears in my eyes. Tears in my eyes. Will you look the same? You're a lot the same. But my heart says no, 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 you're not the same. I'm afraid. Masquerade, it's over. So is love, my oh my. So is love. Yes, I'm afraid. I'm afraid. Masquerade. I am afraid. It's over. So, so is love, my oh my. So is love. Well, I guess I'll have to be by a cheap. And I'll get myself a clown's disguise. And I'll learn to laugh like by a cheap. tears in my eyes. Same. You're a lot, a lot the same. But my heart says no, 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 you're not, you're not the same. I'm afraid, the masquerade, it's all over. So is love, my oh my, so is love. What happened to our love? I guess so. All right, very good. 
All righty. So East of Parkway, East of Parkway Skate Ring in Brooklyn. Remember that? Skate? How can I forget that? That's where uh, my old girlfriend is. She sent me around into the pole. She sent you to the pole. Yeah, I went right into the pole. You must have something to say about that. Boom. Yeah, I said, you, you, you sent me right into the pole. You, you, you sent me. I'm a little darling, you, yes, you do. You sent me. Oh, honest, you do. Yes, you do. Oh, honest, you do. Whoa, 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 whoa. You, you, are you thrilling? Or as Louis would say, you, you, you trill me. Oh, my little darling, now you, yes, you do. You thrill me. Oh, honest, you do. Oh, honest, you do. Well, at first I thought it was infatuation. But darling, it happened so long. And now I find myself wanting oh, to marry you and take you home. Whoa, 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 whoa. You, you, you send me. My little darling, now you, yes, you do. You thrill me. Come on, little honey, you, yes, you do. Ba -ba -da. Oh, honest you do. Yes, you do. Oh, honest you do. Whoa, 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 whoa. We do the bop, 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 do da. Do 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 ba do ba do ba do ba do da. Do 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 But darling, it's happened so long And now I find myself wanting Oh, to marry you and take you home Whoa, 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 whoa You, you, you sing me My little darling, now you, yes you do Are you thrill me? Oh, my little girly, you, yes, you do. Ba -ba -da. Oh, honest, you do. Oh, honest, you do. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. Baby, you sent me. And now you sent me. All right, ladies and gentlemen, John Roper and the Bob Knife Thank Four. You, Thank you. Thank and we are going out live. Thank you so much, ladies and gentlemen, for letting us be part of your evening tonight. And uh, this is Reverend Dennis and Reverend Joe. Thank you. Welcome. And again, we hope you enjoyed our first edition of Insight. We're going to be back next week. We have uh, Steve Mitchell coming next Steve week. Steve Mitchell, Steve Elvis Mitchell Presley. Week doing his Elvis thing. Which I think is we, might even have, we might even have Frank Sinatra with him. Be pretty. I know being reverends and all is one thing, but I don't know if we can pull that. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, no, well, some of them sounds very much like old Blue Eyes will be here, and uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. I wish we had some more room in we here. We will have dance, another comedian as great. well. We'll have another comedian to start That's right. the show. We're going to have yeah. a comedian hopefully every week, and uh, like I said, a nice family type variety show for me. <laughs> <laughs> so we hope to see you all next week. We got one more song coming up for you real quick right now. This is something that uh, I would like to just take a second to honor God and country. Oh, man. 
soldiers out there that are protecting our freedoms, fighting for our freedoms, and for the veterans who've been there and done that. Ladies and gentlemen, the greatest country in the world, everybody sing it out. See you next week, Thursday.